Now that's cool. That's my mouse pad. Uh, and uh, I like it. It's really cool. But um, this, I got my stator today. So hopefully I can find the bolt and be able to put that back on. So that way I can get the, you know, I can put the plywood and everything back in and get it all back in. I just have to find a bolt to tighten it down and stuff because I got to have it. There's no way around it. And I also got the uh, flywheel puller. I got that at the same time, which is surprising. I thought I was would going to be waiting until Tuesday or Wednesday to get it, but I got it today, which is really good. And also, I wanted to show you what I figured out about what I had to pay for parts, just parts, and that's not including sales tax. Uh, well, sales tax. But uh, shipping and for the tools I had to buy, you know, like the thing and other tools I had to use for it. But uh, I'll be able to use the tools for something else too. So that's not a problem. I don't have a problem with that because I can always use tools. But uh, let me show you what I have. First, I'm going to show you what I put in everything. And then I'll show you the parts that I got. So here we go. And put my glasses on okay now this is everything i got cei stator seeds blah, blah 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 and you can pause it if you want but you see the price of just the parts that's only the parts you know right up there at the top it's a pretty good bit but the main thing that cost was the seeds you know Front tires, you know, they were eighty eight ninety five, and this is not including shipping. So with the shipping and stuff and the tools, it'd be somewhere between twelve to fifteen hundred. So I got to make at least twenty five hundred for this thing to be able to break even and get a little extra. And it's not going to be a ten one thousand dollar cart. So I've been doing a lot of work with it, but of course I didn't include the paint or the miscellaneous bolts and stuff. Which the balls and stuff are about five or six dollars, and then the paint, you know, you figure about four dollars a can, and I got six cans, so that's a good bit, you know. So four times six, that's uh, four times five is twenty, twenty-four, twenty-four dollars for paint, and that's not including the black with the black. That was about two dollars, so twenty-six bucks, probably. <laughs> However much, I don't know. But you can see the seats; they each cost about one hundred and fifty. And I got those on sale because those right there were uh, about two hundred thirty a piece. And then you figure the brake system, you know, the whole brakes, the entire brake system line, everything, and it was already. Um, uh, what do you call them? Um, blood. The brakes were blood. So, that everything was said. All I did was just put them in. The back fender, $19 even. Tire mounting, yeah, I paid that with my card. And that was $30. And they only charged me for doing the two front ones. And they actually put the one on the back on the bead and put air in the other one, make sure it had enough air for free. And they put new stems in all of them. So I got a good deal with that too. You know, everything I got a good deal with. You know, and the tools I got a good deal with too. So I came out pretty good. If I hadn't, it, this would have been almost somewhere between 15 to 1800 for parts and stuff. If I'd got the regular prices. Because the stator alone was like 40 or $50 itself. 40 to 50 according to where you go to too the cheapest one and i actually got that on sale most of these parts came from uh go power sports and they've been pretty good with me and uh it's actually pretty cool you know the battery 20 bucks oh uh, kiwi i always round everything off you know the ignition coil you know stuff like that the only two things i really didn't change were the uh, 
uh, what do you call, rectifier and a spark plug. That's the only two things I hadn't changed. And what I'm planning on doing is to be able to get the, if I ever find the bolt, or maybe get one from the flea market or something, you know, it's, if I can. What I was thinking was getting a file and file down and kind of put it on a bevel, bevel the corner of it, so that way I could be able to put the nut back on and screw it back on. And I gotta find the nut for it or uh, figure something out. Cause I've gotta have it. And I gotta have that piece. And if I find somebody doing carts or something, maybe they would have one. Or maybe I can get one from TNJ if I can't get it from there. But I could probably order it. I just have to look for it, you know, blah, blah, blah. Find out how much it would cost. And I could probably get that from uh, Go Power Sports. The only thing I don't like is paying a dollar or something for the part and then pay six or seven dollars for shipping. Which is like seven, eight bucks right there. But if I have to, I'll have to do that. But I was thinking about finding a file, you know, instead of having to tap the whole thing because it's just the tip of it and just grind it down and just, you know, force it on a little bit and then get it to turn. So that way it would go back on there. But that's it. And you hear my grandson. He's mad because it probably changing him. But uh, this is the stuff I have. Here's the stator. Okay, first off, here's the flywheel puller. This right here, you have to, you know, let me show you with the stator. When you put the flywheel puller on the, uh, the, pu the pulley, you do this way to put it on. You have to put it on that way because it's reverse thread. And then when you do it, you tighten this up and it makes this come up and pulls the uh, pulley off of the things because I'll show you where it's got magnets all through it. I'm going to have to put that back in the box so that way it don't get messed up. But uh, here's the magnet and it actually looks better and it'll probably get better contact. And here's the connector piece and then here's the blue and white wire and the red and black as you can see and that's the one that's got to be replaced big time that's the owner of all the reason and i do have connectors i can fix that with so that'll be good i might have to make the with the i found out with the uh ignition coil the cord is not long enough to reach so what i'm gonna have to do is splice it and put another extra wire to make it a little longer and do that but that's what i have for now and i'll see you on the next video where i'm taking it off and putting it on later